Little Humans of Purchase College and Otherwise. My name is Kay Malika. You are about to indulge in a 30 minute episode of Overreacting, a game of Kiki's and Questions, filmed and brought to you from the basement of the hub. So throw up your fallopian tubes, enjoy the episode. Okay, ladies, question one. Name a movie that has angered you. A Knight's Tale. Is that the one with Heath Ledger? Really? The, right? A nice I think that's it. And like he like there's like lots of modern music in it, but they're like in the fucking Renaissance. Um. You know? Like they it's it's a period movie, but they don't use the right like music for it. I don't know. That's, that's a good pissed one. me off. Um The Great Gatsby. I like I that's loved one of those. that's an that example movie, of one. But it really and they did some great acting, but it really pissed me off, the music especially, because mm -hmm. I thought it was creative that yeah. they used like Jay Z's music, but at the same time, like that is not the time period for it, and it and didn't fit, and they <laughs> fucked that movie. So yeah. then, like Lana Del Rey is just like whining throughout the home. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. The fifth Harry Potter movie, oh. just oh. Thick, huh? it didn't oh, yeah. wasn't true to the books, and it just books. Harry was really angsty. I just couldn't. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Long hair era. I would have to say The Mist. Ooh. I really hate that movie. <laughs> I really do. Whenever someone's like, oh my god, I love it. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Absolutely not. Mm. All right. Um, I guess the movie that's really pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, I just... It's not been a movie yet because I just saw a trailer, but it's um, Alexander's Very Good, No Good, oh, Our Whole yeah. Day, whatever. Oh, I was just like, that's yeah. a 12-page book. How do you make a motion picture out of that? Yeah. It's 12 pages. Where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember anyone else yeah. but him. Mm -hmm. That was it. Yeah. Um. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Oh. M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, M. Night. <laughs> I dressed up for that at midnight. No. I had a bald no, cap that. and everything. No, I'm just kidding. I just had like a shirt, but it was still dorky that I did that in the first place. Um, <laughs> but yeah, people were throwing sodas. They were throwing no. sodas at the screen. They were like, yeah. Oh man. What to expect when you're expecting? Nope. Oh, nope. is that J Lo? Cameron Diaz. Same difference. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you miss the most? Who? Um, my cat. <laughs> uh, I have to say my nephew. And yeah. Like, it's been mm, a few months. I hate him, but I love him to pieces. He's a little naggy crap, but I love him so much. My sister. She just got married, and I never see her anymore. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Ovaries before broveries. Yeah. <laughs> so true. My cat when he used to love me. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh, I do know what happened. My sister tried to drown him. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's rough. <laughs> Second coming of the devil. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but, whatever. He doesn't love me now. I see him and he's just like, hey, feed me. And I'm like, I have to feed myself. <laughs> so, I mean... I want to say I miss my sisters, and I do, don't get me wrong, if they're watching this. Um, <laughs> but I gotta, I gotta say my dog, like, <laughs> my dog is just the best. Like, I can't, it's hard going every day without her. That's all. Yeah. She's my best friend. <laughs> That's you. Yeah, I gotta miss my sisters, too. <laughs> when was the last time you were surprised? Has to be yesterday, because um, I was playing Nerf with like the Nerf guild and everything. I'm going hardcore. It's like real life Call of Duty, and then someone just like shoots me and hits my ear, and like I literally like, freak out. I'm like, <gasps> what happened? He's like, got you. I'm like, well, no shit. I feel it. <laughs> oh my god, that could have been a real Pineapple Express situation. <laughs> yeah, it was it scared me quite a bit. Yeah, that's a scam. Um, at my job, just because I could not believe what this guy was like telling me, he 
he just like kept asking me questions about like my past sexual history and it was super uncomfortable and then like yeah right and he just like asked me a question I'm answering mid-sentence he interrupts me and goes you're so fucking awkward I love it and then walks away then comes back and is like you look nervous because I was like visibly uncomfortable and he was like do you want a Xanax and then like walks away and I was just like (laughs) Like, why would you speak to someone like that, like, let alone at work? It's just, I don't know. God. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, ew. Ugh. I don't have a great one. I guess the last time I was surprised, whatever Breaking Bad episode, I, I like, just finished oh, the the yeah. last season, the finale. Man. Um, that was pretty shocking when, like, Hank died. I was like, whoa. Oh, Man. spoilers. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I didn't even watch Breaking Bad. Like, Never mind. I said Hank. <laughs> It was his fish. Yeah. He had to flush him down um, the toilet. <laughs> the last time I was surprised um, was like two days ago. My mom called me and she was just like, Grandma's in the hospital. And I was like, This can only not be good. But actually, Grandma's doing fine. I don't. Oh, she's like made it through everything. Nice. I don't know what they were feeding her, but. Uh, <laughs> the last time I was surprised was, I think, like two weeks ago. I applied for a job in our monk at Fortina's Pizza. And um, he, the manager was like, do you want to work here? And I said, yeah. And he said, you're hired. Get to work right now. Uh, so I was like, wait, what? And then I worked like a six, seven hour shift right then and there. No, they're really chill at Fortina's. Like, you don't have to wear uniforms. I can wear like ripped jeans. And I'm just a drink and dessert runner right now. But I was also bussing um, just dirty dishes all night. But they had like an event that they were unplanned for and didn't have enough people. So that's why he was like, okay, like go work right now. <laughs> So that was the last time, but nice. it, it was awesome. I got a job. Like, <laughs> yeah. really? And you have a car? No, oh. I don't. <laughs> Plot twist. Um, uh, somebody else works there that's in the opera program, so I just ride with them all the time. So I don't work unless they're working, which is nice. And then I give her like two dollars for gas money. Nice. Wow, it's, it's a nice situation. That was a system that yeah. like worked itself. Out. It did. I'm really happy and very busy, but I'm it's good. <laughs> so yeah, getting money, getting that money. <laughs> I like this one. At what age were you your ugliest? Oh, my oh. Not the most politically <laughs> correct. <laughs> it's a combination of eight and 12. I was uh, a little fat, so I was developing boobs, but like not because they were like woman <laughs> boobs, because I was just so fat and I had nippleitis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And also, like, I don't know, just, like, my body was very jelly bean-like. My, like, limbs were very skinny. I had frizzy, <laughs> frizzier hair than this, braces, acne, the whole, the whole kaboot. It was awesome. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> um, Ten, because I was, like, on the eight, like, on the verge of puberty, but I wasn't, like, aware of how I looked. So, like, my hair was constantly, like, not brushed, <laughs> and I just... I don't remember what I wore, but I obviously did not give a shit. (laughs) So, and then like sixth grade happened and I was like, oh, I need to be aware of this or else I won't have friends. So, yeah. So I'm going to pick all my years, even now. (laughs) Um, I have to say, oh, wow. All the years from like seventh grade to like 10th grade, because that was like my emo post hardcore years mm-hmm. i actually have a picture where it's like the myspace picture like up here and i have like this awesome purple bow and my hair is like poofy up here but like pinch streak down here i was like what is wrong with you <laughs> oh my god panic yeah. my chemical romance yeah my chemical yeah. romance and i still love them oh rest in peace oh gerard Way's coming back i'm so happy <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, mine, I think, was seventh and eighth grade. And um, just because, yeah, I was in, like, that lanky phase, like, I shot up, like, a bean sprout, and I was taller than everyone, like, as tall as I am now, like, in seventh grade. So that was weird. So I dominated all the halls, like, looking down (laughs) on people. And then also, I'm just stupid. And um, I had these, like, wispies, you know, your baby hairs start to come in or, like, your hair is doing something weird. Well, they were always, like, getting in my face, and and my nose would always be itchy. So I started itching my nose and I started breaking out really bad I just decided to shave that part of my head off so I took a razor and like got rid of the baby wispies and I was like wait this is bad because it's gonna grow back and it did and it grew back in like a solid square rectangle patch that just hung (laughs) in the middle of my forehead so I had like I had 
but I just had one bang. Just one. <laughs> just no one, just no one, one little rectangle square bang for seventh and eighth grade. Every single picture has like a rectangle of square hair in the middle of my forehead. <laughs> so that was awkward. Oh, man. I have to say between sixth and seventh grade. Um, so my yearbook pictures for those both years are like that weird half smile. And I guess they just never told me that I was doing a weird half smile in my pictures. Okay, everybody should say I'm really half smile. Something, something really <laughs> awful. It was really bad. My parents are just like, oh my God. Why do you want a child? <laughs> They're like, holy crap. <laughs> parents do not leave anything out. I was like, oh, this is terrible. And like between my fashion, which was like really weird Abercrombie, like pink short, pleated skirts and like oh. awful awful oh, like mixtures of like plaid and it was bad oh, it was God. really bad no. it was just awful mm. and that's why i've burned those pictures <laughs> yeah i think the sweet spot is seventh and eighth i was like a child in my third trimester <laughs> um like yeah just like italian hairy girl <laughs> plump as a chump that was like my whole milk days, and I'm proud to say this is a 2% body. <laughs> That's upside down. Um, what is your favorite word? Mm. Can it be a good word? A word that's not in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Ass is in the Bible. Yeah, yep. Yeah, and whore. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to do a bad word. I'm going to say fuck. Because that's, like, for perfect everything. Channel 69, baby. Represent. <laughs> well. Do you doubt? Do I trust no. You? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm not the only one. <laughs> um, I have to say, alas, just because it just describes many moods. <laughs> Started using it a couple years ago. Yeah. Favorite word? Yeah, ma'am. Mm. I'm trying to bring back the the word dig, like you like it, like it. Oh, I dig it. I like dig. It's very. What what era is that from? Like the. I dig it. I want to say the '60s. I want to say '60s. I think like, it is. Yeah, 60s. man, I dig groovy, it. Groovy, I dig it. Yeah. Groovy. Yeah, mm -hmm. groovy. Anyone? Anyone? Yes. You feel <laughs> My favorite word is precipitate, just because I like the way it feels in my mouth. <laughs> And um, can I just add that also adorbs, the word adorbs just got oh. added to the dictionary and it is not a real word and it it got added to the dictionary as as well as YOLO. Not a word. And it's in the dictionary now, so. Yeah. That's a word. My favorite word is bootylicious. Like, it's, in the dictionary, it's ask Beyonce. It's perfect. It, I think it's in the French dictionary. They don't even put anything in there. And I'm pretty sure it's there. Beyonce bends all rules. And that is why that is my favorite word. Mm, this is a good answer too. Word, <gasps> word, but like word in like different con. It's, it's great. Like word. Word? Word. word, 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 word. It's cool. Hey friend. I like yo. Friend. Yo. Yo. <laughs> yo. I actually got banned from using the word dude at like the Thanksgiving dinner table. Straight up banned. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. But every other curse word in is definitely allowed. Awkward. Oh, what everyone. Um, what is I don't that? know. It's from Maryland, from down south. It means, yeah. It's just like a combination of okay and something else. I'm just told. Oh, word and okay. Maybe. Oh, word. Oh, word. Oh, ard. <laughs> it's like O oh, and then ard. Oh, ard. Oh, it's stupid. I, okay, so like I'm in Maryland. Oh, crab cake. So ard. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 It's just, just no. I take your word for it, though, Bex. Yeah. yeah. I word. I'm all out of words. Word. Um, who is your newest good friend? Oh, oh I have a good one. Um, her name is Serafina. She's the host of Purchase <gasps> Late Night. Serafina! Yay! Yeah, um, I joined the crew of PTV, or, or I'm sorry, uh, PLN, and um, 
and then we've we've discovered that we're both like really outdoorsy and we love hiking she's from vermont and i'm basically from vermont because i'm right on the borderline and she's going to alaska and i went to alaska and so yeah we're like planning out our spring break we're gonna hike part of the um what is it appalachian trail and we're like really excited and she's my oh. new like hiking buddy it's great My best friend from home, Will, he has this friend named Jenna, and we just became friends, and she's awesome. Like, we plan, like, how we're going to, like, I don't know, trick him and everything like that, because he's such a prankster, so we were like, we have to do this prank. We got his twin brother in on it and his parents, and it was awesome. But, um, yeah, she's just great. We text a lot. She's actually, like, one of, like, my favorite people. Um... Uh, 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 <laughs> um, I have to pick two people. Sorry, I'm. I'm God, apologize to me. <laughs> I'm selfish. Got to do it. Um, I would say my best friend Lily. Her real name's Laura, but Lily. Uh, I might only met her like last year, but we're literally long lost sisters. She it got to the point where she gave me like her game account to get Sims Four, and I was like, yo. Yo, that's some real friendship right there. Um, my next uh, best friend is Riley. Riley and Haley, they're, they're like one person anyway. And they're um, from Anime Club. So they're, I just love them so much. So great. Um, my friend Elisa, I've known her since high school. And we've always been like friendly. But over the summer, we made a short film together. And now we hang on the reg. And it's pretty cool, and I'm glad I started hanging out with her because she's awesome. Wait, the question is... Who's your newest good friend? Newest good friend. I'm going to say all of y'all after the show. Aww. We've been friends since Boom. freshman year. I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> they said new friends. New You're friends. You're overreacting. You're Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe Name drop. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, who has a great laugh? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good laugh. I feel like when I laugh, it's more like I'm just breathing air. Yeah, I feel like I don't have a laugh. I feel like I just, bouncing. I just like bouncing. <laughs> Casting for air. <laughs> now I'm like catching on. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I pick up laughs from humans. Oh, and la maybe. lately I've been snorting. And when I don't snort, it's like when the air goes up. And then when it goes down, I'm like. <laughs> so I do that like a feral cat. And that's how I've been laughing lately, which is the opposite of cute. Oh, God. <laughs> laughing. Can we pick somebody else who has a yeah. good laugh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Sarah Donellen has a really good laugh. Um, she laughs in her sleep. She's my, <laughs> she's my roommate, and we became best friends, like, uh, last year. Yeah, she laughs in her sleep, and that's creepy. But um, when she's not asleep and she laughs, it's really cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> phases of consciousness if it's cute or not yeah it's a good barometer um i have to say my friend uh janina nina she's like goes to like berkeley school of music yeah she's that person um she has like she's a soprano one singer she's like part of this female band so like her voice is pretty damn high and her laugh is honestly the cutest thing ever it's like i don't even know how to explain it it's just that cute it's like a giggle, but it's like a full, but it's like a full on laugh like mine. But she's like a twig, and she has like the most gorgeous voice and the most gorgeous laugh. I'm like, what angel created you? Because I wanted to make my babies. <laughs> Boy, what angel created you? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, my friend Nicole at home, because for some reason this summer she like started laughing by like putting her hand on her chest and like tilting back her like head so she just looks like Ooh. a fancy old woman now when she laughs and we're just like why are you doing that everybody yeah. now. <laughs> and she's like i don't know it's just like a habit i formed and but it's great i love her great habit to form classy um i have to say uh john travolta in greece when he's just like laughing that one scene it's because we just watched it but there's just one scene and he's just like don't make me laugh and it's like ha <laughs> That's great. It's wonderful. <laughs> what was your most transcendent eating experience? 
my mom and I went to this place because um, she was doing a write up. So we got a free meal and they made a uh, butternut squash pizza with like all this like cheese and awesomeness. And it was just the most delicious thing that I had Ooh. ever eaten. I don't know if it was because my mom got me a little bit drunk beforehand, but mm-hmm. it was just <sighs> so good. It was the best pizza I've ever had. I think I cried a little bit. <laughs> The first time I had Chipotle, for oh. sure. Wish for I could go sure. back to that first time. Yes, oh. yes. <laughs> um, just anything in Italy, just oh. so good. I can't even pick anything. There's just everything. Yeah. Really um, so I'm like a big, huge fan on like Asian foods and like Japanese shabu shabu. Anything that's like hot pot and like Korean food. I go to this um this one food court in Koreatown, like Korea Way, and I didn't have this one store's food, so I'm like, hey, I'll just get like the short rib, and I tried it, and I'm I just I just had to sit there, I just looked at him like, what are what are you, <laughs> what do they put in you? Because I want it more in my, yeah, and it was just so savory. Oh my god, I just loved it so much. Mine was um, the first time I tried crab, which was actually this past summer, because I've always hated seafood all my life, and um. It, yeah, I was in Alaska, I ate it, and it was so amazing, but then I found out that I'm, like, really allergic to crab, and I had a really bad reaction, and now it sucks because I can't eat it ever again, but it was so good. <laughs> wow, that's a great answer because, like, one-time deal. Yeah, I ca- really can't eat it again, my, like, throat closed, so it was bad, it was really bad, wow. but it was Man. so good, I ate the whole entire thing, it was good. No, it's not, I, yeah, I had a test, uh, like, actually like, two weekends ago, and it's just crab, because I can eat, like, I can eat shrimp, I can eat other stuff that, I don't really like seafood that much, but yeah, it's just crab, and it really sucks, because I loved it. Damn it. <laughs> you know, what of are course. you going to do? It is. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> describe in detail how you got to your high school from your house. So my high school was pretty much down this hill that we called Big Mondo, which was the hill that I lived on. It's down the hill, you went all the way to one stop sign, and then I took a right, and there was my school. (laughs) It was awesome, except it also made me late every day. (laughs) That is exactly like me. My house was right behind the school. If I was late, I can hear the late bell from my window, and I'll still be late. I missed first period, and I lived right around the corner, <laughs> and I would just casually call myself and like, hey, yeah, she's going to be late. Is is this her? No, not. <laughs> this is her sister. We sound like it's okay. <laughs> and I'll just like, casually walk in. That was a pleasure. No. no. What I are you sound like about? my mom. I got called out to it, too. They were like, I think you're calling yourself in. I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't think that's ever happened. Come into the bit. Word. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Word. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Um, I just took the school bus, but me and my friends that I was on the bus with would bring like leftover pizza and like Chinese food on the bus and yeah, eat on our way to school. So that was nice. Nice. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I kind of try and block out how I got to high school. (laughs) No, I loved high school, but just, like, I had to ride the bus a lot, and it wasn't fun, because my sister had, like, a, she had a half day her senior year, so she would, like, go to some awesome internship, and I'd have to be on the bus with a bunch of little fucking shithead middle schoolers, (laughs) and they would just ask me, like, stupid questions, like, what's a boner? And I'm like, I don't fucking know, like, just, I mean, I know, but get out of here, like, (laughs) don't, yeah, stop it, they made me, they made me so nervous, What is a favorite photo of you? Uh, so um, it was during a modeling phase, and I was modeling, and my favorite photo was um, they put this thing around my neck that like elongated it, and it was a wire, and it was coil, and so my neck was stretched out like this, and the pictures came out literally just me looking in pain. Like, I look terrible. <laughs> but it was so funny because they're like, yeah, you didn't do a good job on that shoot. And I'm like, well, it was pretty much choking the shit out of me. So you're welcome, and yay. Um, 
So for Christmas, I asked for the same sunglasses that my little sister had just to piss her off. Um, and I opened them up and I was like, Alora, what's this? She's like, you're a bitch. And my parents are like, language. And then I put them on and she was just like, dad, you can't take pictures of Danielle. She looks like this. She has my sunglasses. And then she went and ran and got her sunglasses. And my dad just has a picture of us just deuces. Nice. Deuces. Uh, these are one of my profile pictures on Facebook. It's just like a very zoom. This relates back to the like awkward middle school year question. Um, but it's just me like zoomed in with my like baby wispy hairs, as you mentioned. This is everywhere. I have, you know, just braces, disgusting. <laughs> I'm kind of just very chunky. And I'm holding my hamster, Mary Catherine. <laughs> and Mary Catherine? <laughs> After Mary Catherine Gallagher? Yes, from Superstar. I see you. Referencing I see you, girl. Very <laughs> referencing pop culture at age eight. Um, <laughs> yes, um, and I was just holding, I, was, I had my hamster, and I was just squeezing the shit out of her, just like... <laughs> <laughs> When you squeeze a hamster, their eyes get really big. It's really scary. <laughs> um, there's a picture of me. I think it's still on Facebook. I'm wearing my brother's sunglasses, and I'm holding a banana with a pair of, like, Barbie sunglasses on the banana, so we just, like, look really cool. <laughs> me and this banana. Yeah. Me being weird. Um, oh, God. It's when I decided to just, like, cut my hair, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm tired of my hair. It's damaged anyway, so I just sniffed it off and it just looks really really bad like it's not layered or anything it's just like straight and that was the time of um my musical it was my senior musical I'm working once on this island it's it's such a beautiful musical it's yeah. like all like caribbean it's so great um and it was just like yeah we're gonna take pictures it's like your last show blah blah and it's just like I'm awkward because my head always tilts whenever I take pictures because my head's naturally tilted. It's like <laughs> straight hair, looks bad, it's not layered. I'm like, well, this is horrible years. I don't like it. <laughs> Still a favorite photo. There's a Polaroid that's taken of me during one of my last days at summer camp. And for some reason, I'm in the forefront, like the lighting, just like when you, it's like if you tap your phone and like the focus goes, and it was all on me, which is great. <laughs> yeah. So like the camera's over here. Hi. So I was like that. And I thought it would come off, like, more, like, funny, cutesy. Like, I'm joking that I'm trying to look good, but I actually look good. And I just look, like, really beautiful and well-preserved, despite the years just rolling by. <laughs> and it's great. And, like, everyone else is in the background, and it's just, like, light is hitting me. My headband is white, and it contrasts against my dark hair. I still have it. It's on my dresser. Oh, like a it's a great yeah. Polaroid. And, like, the, it's really blurry. Like, I'm on a date by candlelight. <laughs> Um, tell the story of a time when you lost an argument. Um, <laughs> can I say my life is an argument and I lose it every second? I, I lose, I lose that. Sounds like a, a fortune cookie. Oh, I got a bad fortune cookie the other day. It was like, preserve life. And I'm like, am I a fruit? <laughs> I'm like you Chinese proverbs like really fucked up right now. The, the thing is, those aren't even fortunes. They're not fortunes. Yeah. Preserve your life. That's what the fuck is that? It's not a fortune. It shouldn't like, be in a fortune cookie. I, I didn't Preserve. ask for this shit. It's advice. The They're advice look. cookies. <laughs> Unwanted advice cookies, basically. Oh, I love them, though. I do. Yeah, I would just eat them, like order them, and not actual Chinese food. Like I don't know. I know. I don't know. What actually? How does that equal? Yeah. How does powdered how whatever does it was? Milk and butter. butter. How does that equal well, cheese? Well, Um, oh, okay. I actually lost an argument with my cousin. Uh, I wanted to ride my scooter when I was little, and he wouldn't give me my scooter. And we only had two, so my older sister was riding it. So I ran away, crying, and like an idiot, I cried with my eyes closed. And I ran down like the street, and I ran smack dab into a telephone pole. And then I like went underneath um, my neighbor's fence. And my cousin's like, I didn't make you fall. I'm like, you did. You didn't give me back my scooter. And obviously my sister's like, well, you did run off. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. 
I had one fight, really bad fight, when I was a little with my mom about a calculator. Um, she was a math teacher, and I have no skill at math whatsoever, so she was helping me. And um, I was using two hands on a calculator because I dreamed of having a cell phone, and I wasn't allowed to get one until I was, like, 18. And so <laughs> I was like, wow, this feels cool, you know, like, punching it in with my thumbs. And she, for my first name, was Rebecca, and she was like, Rebecca Rogers, you cut that out. Like, you use one hand on a calculator. And I was like, I will use two hands on a calculator <laughs> if I want to. And she, <laughs> like, it, I can do that. It's not a rule or a law. She was like, you will use one hand. And I was like, no, I will not. <laughs> And then she, like, grounded me for, like, a month. I was seriously grounded and I did was not allowed to do anything. No My favorite grounding, she grounded me a lot. I was always in trouble. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that was the best one, though, using fucking two hands on a calculator. And to this day, I still use two hands on a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> it feels, it feels so good. <laughs> Um, so one time, my sister and I went to the same school for my last year of school, and she was in sixth grade and I was in 12th, gives you how small my school was, <laughs> um, and I was taking forever for some reason, and my mom and my sister left without me, and then I was seething with rage, seething, <laughs> when, I, when I got into the car with my mom to, like, drop me off, and I still would have been on time, but... My mom and I were just arguing back and forth to the 30 seconds, 30 seconds that it took to get to that school. And I told her that my sister could go suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> so my parents didn't decide to like talk to me about it until like later on in the night when my dad got home from work. And my oh, dad just worst. sits down on my bed and he's just like, you don't have a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Shut that was up. it. Hot twist, you don't have a penis. Oh my god. They're like, why did you say that? You don't have one. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, come on, Dad. <laughs> You're ruining it. Being a real teen, Dad. <laughs> just anytime I get in an argument with my friend Rachel, just because she's super competitive and I just have to back down because she just is way too smart and I just can't. I just don't like arguing with people. <laughs> I think I lose probably every argument I get myself into, but this one particular time, I was, like, bitching at my sister because, like, she was about to drop the water bowl for my dog. Yeah, getting back to that dog question. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, uh, God, she just, like, spilled the water everywhere. And I was like, I told you, you stupid bitch. And then we got in, like, a fist fight. And then, like, I got in trouble. And then my mom took the lock off my door. Like, <laughs> Um, 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 what do you want to ask your grandparent? How many drugs they've done. Like, mm -hmm. not, like, to help them, like, live, like, <laughs> medical drugs, like, crazy. Oh, drugs. we knew like, what kind of drugs. Yeah. That's like, a great one. I feel like my grandparents have done really, I feel like they had a wild time in the 60s. They could yeah. Yeah. Anyone, anyone? Oh, uh, I don't know if, I would never ask this, but, like, I'm just curious whether they, like, slept with anyone else other than them. Just because it was, like, back in the day and, like. I don't actually know how things were, like, socially, and, like, people are conservative, but, like, they're not conservative. I don't know. I just wonder about that. Um, I want to know, like, how her life is and, like, how she came to be the person that she is. Because I know that she was a nurse and I know, like, she traveled, like, all over England and, like, the, like, just the uk like across the seas i know that she like traveled there i'm like now now you're just like so frail i'm like what happened like i i don't know much about my grandmother because i never met her but i'm like i really want to know you and her time's coming up pretty short i'm like god damn it so yeah i would like to ask my grandma like why she married my grandpa because it's not no it's just not <laughs> it's weird. yeah no she came over um from germany when she was like really young and like like fell in love with an american they married really really young but i want to know like why she fell in love with him because mm. i don't understand it's a good one i guess i would ask like not my grandma but my great grandma like how she actually got over to this country and how she still has an accent like <laughs> it's been like 70 years yeah. come on like what, what? yeah she's 85 
Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Uh, St. Kitts. That's what's up. Yeah. Still kicking. How was your online dating life? Non-existent. So I've now taken the custom of just a Tim Tebow moment. I'm going to bring that back. And like my life and my online love life, my love life in general, <laughs> let's put that out there. Tim Tebow, just why? It's just a why moment. It's like definitely. Uh, it got on yak yak. That's how upsetting it was. Yeah. Well, did you ask this question just for me? <laughs> I mean, <if> shoot this. <laughs> well, I'm currently doing this project right now where I go on Tinder dates with guys and I green screen us into Polly Pockets and make a video. Yes. So that's my For dating art. life right now. Art. Guys, how cool is Alyssa? Yes, Isn't Alyssa thank so cool? You. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. The last guy brushed my armpit hair. Uh, what? Art. <laughs> uh, I will admit, I do, slash, I have had an okay cupid account for quite some time not like wow just the summer but yeah it's weird as shit man <laughs> like <laughs> there's just so many creepers out there and like i don't know this one kid he messaged me and was just like i push you against wall and lick you like lizard <laughs> and i was like meet me in the <laughs> 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 i i push you against wall yeah like what the fuck <laughs> what yeah, so... Too hard to type. <laughs> Can't even think about it. <laughs> Man. <laughs> You'll pass, no problem. No, no, no. no. I told everyone I have an okay Cupid account. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> well, yeah, my dating life is non-existent at the moment, but my friend Kat made me get a Tinder account, and I was like, all right. And now I literally just use it to fuck with people. Like, not fuck with people, just fuck with people. And, um, yeah, I just, like, anytime I get, like, a really bad pickup line, I just go with it. And it really actually makes my day. <laughs> like, I'll be sitting mm. there, like... <laughs> It, it, it makes me really happy actually tinder does but i yes. i have never it is an e it's an ego boost but it's also just so much fun like i love hearing the pickup lines that people like like there's the ridiculous ones they'll try to start a conversation um something about ten tennessee have you ever heard You're that only one? Ten yeah i was like seriously that's like the oldest one in the book but it's it's the best one oh my god i like your hair which is just yeah, yeah. Not bad. it's a general thing it's like oh I, I like your shirt or yeah. yeah the way to start a conversation like and you're like wow that's <laughs> just one of them i like just your one <laughs> eye that's just really <laughs> such a special line and it's touched my heart honestly the worst <laughs> i saw was are you my big toe because i'm gonna bang you against every piece of furniture in my house <laughs> i would actually just would go just for that just that. because that's a good one that's yeah a, that's yeah yeah, you know, that was my that was my friend Stephanie from North Carolina. What's up, Steph? And like she we she talked to the guy exactly because of its creativity. Yeah, that's like, I I like the creative unique ones as well and I will tell them like, "Hey, that was a good one. Good job." And then they won't talk to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's it. Yo, I like this one too, you guys. Was your mom popular in high school? My mom was not popular in high school. And she was pretty okay with that. I thought that she was really beautiful. Um, but then after high school, my mom, like, turned into this, like, awesome party queen. And she would go to this place called The Garage. And they would party so late. It was morning. And the club would serve them breakfast. Yes. Oh, oh cool. Awesome. So she, like, had a great time. And she would, like, have one guy that was only allowed to take her out on Sundays because he had a white Cadillac and she would only let him take her to brunch and then she would go to another date after that. And then oh, my aunt used to like watch from the window. She's like, how's she going to get out of this one? She has like two dates there. And my mom would just like be able to like slide in conversation, which is why she's a saleswoman. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> she would just like explain like how this is one date and now she's going to the other. See you next week. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of Overreacting. Please join us next week. Pop a fallopian tube with us here in the hole that is the basement of the hub. Have a good one. <laughs>